Here's how to solo the Liberty Falls Easter Egg in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. Alright, now first off, of course, let's start with the loadout, and in my experience, the ASG-89 has been nothing short of amazing. Once this thing is fully upgraded, it absolutely melts everything. Alright, now first off, you're gonna want the 92 hollow side, or really whatever you want. You want the modified choke, the CHF barrel, the precision foregrip, you either want fast mags or extended mags, you then want the commando grip, the light stock, and the fast motion laser. Alright, now for the field upgrade, I recommend using either energy mine or aether shroud if you have it. You then want to run decoys or the shock stick if you have it. And as far as the gobble gums are concerned, it's really whatever you want. However, I definitely recommend bringing in something for ammo like a cashback or a free fire. Now, if you have one, I also recommend bringing in a wonder bar so that way you can try to get the ray gun before the boss fight. And then I brought in on the house so that way I can get some free perks. All right, now let's load in. And as soon as you do, you want to head forward and go ahead and grab a gobble gum if you want. You then want to go on the left side of the building, crouch in front of this vending machine and go ahead and melee it. Now you're going to want to do this every single round as you have a chance to get some pretty decent items. Now, from this, you can get things like a useless bag of chips or you can literally get the ray gun for free. However, then you want to head upstairs and this is going to cause a door to burst open and you now should have a whole bunch of new zombies so you can get some extra points. Now, keep in mind that inside that room is where you will craft the wonder weapon. All right, now at this point, you just want to stay in the starting area until about round four. You then want to save a zombie on round four and then you want to head down the right side path. Now, you want to keep going up this path until you get up the stairs and towards the bus. Now, on the other side of the bus, you should see a store called Lily's Flower Pot. In front of this is a spigot. You want to then take the valve off of this. You want to then turn around and go ahead and run all the way back to the motel. Now, when you do get back to the motel, you want to open up the doorway leading to the bowling alley. Now, when you get inside the bowling alley, you should find on the far wall is a covered valve. You want to shoot this cover to open it and then insert that valve that you just picked up. I know at this point, you will then need to stand here and turn this valve until it is done. Keep in mind that you can look around while you're here. However, also be warned that this will spawn in a bunch of new zombies and vermin and you just want to keep an eye out for those. Now, the best way that I've found to deal with this is to bring decoys. When you are out of the two decoys, you want to then start training the zombies outside of the door. And when they're all outside the door, you want to then run back in and then start getting some turns in. Now, just keep doing this, running outside and baiting the zombies out and then running back inside and getting some turns in and you should be able to turn this valve within a good amount of time. Now, when you are done with this, it's gonna then spit out another valve part for you. Go ahead and pick this up. Now, at this point, if you do not have 1250 salvage, I highly recommend making this your priority. So at this point, you just wanna train around the bowling alley until you have enough salvage. And when you do have 1250, you wanna leave the bowling alley going towards the motel. As soon as you exit, you wanna stop and go ahead and craft yourself a mangler cannon from the workbench. All right, now at this point, you wanna then head over to the electronic store, which will be down the right side path from spawn. When you get in front of the electronic store, you wanna use the mangler cannon to break open the door. Now, once it is open, you want to head inside and you should see spread out on the floor are a bunch of spots that you can interact with. Now, most of these are going to drop random items. However, one of them will drop the wires that you need. All right, now, once you've picked up those wires, you now want to head back up to the graveyard and just hang out here for a couple rounds. Now, the goal of this is to hang out here until the groundskeeper shows up. Now, the groundskeeper is a special zombie that wears overalls and a hat. Now, when he spawns in, he's not going to try to attack you. Instead, he's just going to kind of wander around the graveyard. And what you want to do at this point is eliminate him and pick up his shed key. All right, now, at this point, you want to drop down and take a left. The shed is now standing directly in front of you. Go ahead and open up the shed and grab the handle. All right, you now have all three parts. You can now go back to the motel and craft your jet gun inside of the room. All right, now once you've done this, you want to drop down and then turn left. You want to head down the alley between the two buildings and open up the comic book store. As soon as you enter the comic book store, you want to look up and absorb the part that should be above you. All right, now once you've got that, you want to turn around and head back up towards the bus. When you get up here, start heading up towards the church, but stop and turn left. Head up the stairs and onto the rooftop near the zip line. Now stand near the zip line and start absorbing, and you should be able to pull your second part through the rooftop. All right, now drop down and it is at this time that you can now go ahead and enter the church. And when you get inside the church, you want to interact with the machine that is on the right side wall. What's going to happen is this is going to start the Easter egg. Now, once the screen has flashed white, you should be able to turn and look up and absorb your third and final part. Now, at this point, you can just stand here and have a little second to breathe and listen to the ghost talk, or you can head straight out the church, turn left, and take the zip line to the Alamo. Now, when you get to the top of the Alamo, you want to then use the crafting bench in the corner to build the LTG. Then you want to pick up the LTG and take the zip line back to the church. And once you enter the church, you should now be able to grab another canister from that machine. It is at this point that I recommend that you pack a punch one of your weapons, you then want to head out the back side of the church and up into the graveyard. When you get here, you should see there's an electrical storm in the middle section. You want to interact with the contraption underneath the storm to place the LTG. Now, at this point, you also then want to drop the canister that you picked up previously in a corner somewhere and remember where you dropped it. All right, now, this is the step where you're going to need to protect this newly formed orb from any zombies approaching it. You only will need to focus on the zombies that are going purple, as these are going to be the only ones that are attracted to the portal. Now, if you let zombies get too close to this portal, they will be absorbed into it and it will start to slowly damage damage this portal. So do your best to keep the purple zombies as far away from this portal as you can. And once you're done, it will then spawn in a special HVT. Now, at this point, you want to pick up that canister that you dropped. You then want to drop down and start heading down towards the bank. You want to drop this canister in front of one of the nodes on the ground for the Aether Trap. You then want to turn around and whittle the health down on that HVT until he starts to glow purple. At this point, you want to then turn on the Aether Trap and bait the HVT into standing in its field. When it is in the field, you want to then eliminate the HVT, making sure that it stays in the field, 
and if done correctly, its soul will be absorbed. You now need to pick up that canister and take this back to the machine in the church. All right, now when you put this back in the machine, you're gonna hear a couple more audio lines from the ghost, and then he's gonna open up a drawer in that machine and you can grab the scanner. Now, at this point, you wanna head out of the church and back to the graveyard and grab that LTG. You then wanna head from the church towards the bowling alley and make sure that you stop in the grassy area that is in front of the bus. All right, now in this grassy area, you should see a machine. You wanna then pull out that scanner and notice what it says on the scanner. If the scanner says low, you need to change this machine's light to be red. If the scanner says medium, you need to change the light to be yellow. And if the scanner says high, you need to change the light to be green. All right, now once you have that light done, you wanna turn around and head back up towards the shed. When you get here, turn right, and you should see another machine in another patch of grass. Once again, pull up your scanner, and if it says green, you want this to be red. If it says yellow, you want this to be yellow. And if it says red, you want this to be green. All right, now once this one is done, you wanna turn around and head back to the graveyard. You wanna then take the zip line that's gonna lead you to the top of the bank. Now when you get here, you wanna open up the shortcut that's gonna drop you down into another rooftop. And on this rooftop should be your third and final machine. Once again, if the scanner is green, you want the light on the machine to be red. If the scanner is yellow, you want the light to be yellow. And if the scanner is red, you want the light to be green. All right, now once you have all three of these machines attuned, you should see that they are now connected by lights that are leading you back to spawn. Head back to spawn and you should see a machine here. After a few seconds, it will spit out another canister for you to grab. Go ahead and pick this up, turn around and drop this in front of the node on the ground nearby. At this point, you wanna head down the right side path again and you should see another storm. Go ahead and interact to place the LTG and once again, you need to protect this from the zombies that are gonna be going towards it. Now, when this one is done, it's gonna spit out another HVT. This one will probably be an abomination and you want to then once again weaken this and then bait it back to the fields, activate the trap and then eliminate it inside of the aether field. Now, once you have absorbed this second HVT soul, you want to then take this back to the church and once again, insert it into the machine. Now, it is at this point that you are now ready for the boss fight. So I highly recommend getting all the perks that you want, getting the pack-a-punch that you want, getting the wonder weapon that you want, getting at least a level two armor, a mutant injection, a self-revive and whatever else you want. Now, when you are ready, you want to then head back into the church and interact with the machine. It's going to then lock you into the church. You want to then survive until an HVT mangler shows up. After you take him down, the machine will turn into sort of a soul box. Eliminate enough zombies that will be then absorbed into the machine, and then eventually an HVT abomination will show up. Now, at this point, if you still have the mutant injection, I highly recommend using it. However, once you do eliminate that HVT, all you do now is sit back and watch as the game tells you nuh uh and wipes you anyways. Now, don't worry, this is exactly what's supposed to happen. All you do now is kick back and watch a cutscene, and congratulations, you've now soloed the Liberty Falls Easter egg for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Now, that is going to be all in this video. However, like I said in my last one, there are plenty of Easter eggs for me to go over. I, in fact, have my work cut out for me. So if you guys are looking for any of that, please don't forget to drop a follow. However, if this video did help you out, don't forget to like, share, and comment. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you guys around.